Que lo que mi gente, my name is Kevin and today begins my first adventure on the Appalachian Trail. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Official start to the trail. Let's go, baby. <laughs> it's, it's so wet. We're lost. Now it's been on my bucket list to do a multi-day backpacking trip because I've done plenty of biking trips, but I haven't done any single backpacking trip where I hike in, camp, wake up, hike, camp. So at least two consecutive backpacking nights in a row. I've never done that before. It's always been out of a car or just one night or on my bike. So this starts the first time that I get to actually do that. And the awesome part is I'm not gonna be by myself. Of course, the first step to any good hike is to come to REI and spend way too much money. But, but we're equipped now, we're equipped. All right, we've got all the food put into days for each of us and then generally organized what's gonna go in everyone's pack how you feeling jeremy i'm feeling great man i'm excited all right all right, all right gabby super stoked man let's go <laughs> and now we're gonna pack that's okay. okay that's everything water oh geez okay 42.6 pounds 42.6, not horrible. Who's next, who's next? There, uh, what? Nice. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not the whole thing? Yeah, I think it was like. 35.9, all right, so far you have the lightest pack. Yeah, my definitely have the heaviest <laughs> Mine is in the 50s. Oh, 50. The Oh no, this says 34.9. Okay. Nice, I think 41 point something. Damn, all right. All right. Cool. It's not that bad. All right, so the guy with all the ultra light gear is the heaviest pack. It's cool, <laughs> it makes sense, it makes sense. Let's do it, boys. I, I don't know why, no matter how much stuff I get, I still always find myself coming to REI or some outdoor store before every trip. Like now I don't have soap, a cat <laughs> or a rain cover because it's going to be raining a lot of the weekend so I'm gonna grab myself a rain cover yikes Gabby's already talking about quitting and all that you better not you better not why is it that the last two trips that I try to go on rain hard rain I just want a sunny day. I just want a sunny day. It's, it's boring. It's boring, man. Oh. Dropped off. And what'd you say, Ma? This is scary. I'm just gonna leave you here on the side of the road? Just like that? Like hooligans? We gotta, start, we gotta start somewhere, but the trail crosses a road and then goes into just like this open field. There's a bunch of deep puddles because it's been raining hard all day. It's gonna rain hard all night. So. We just have to cross this field and then go into the woods. <laughs> the shelter's only like a mile away, but we're, we're gonna get wet. It's, it's raining. This is me leaving my kids in the middle of the road. <laughs> hey, Gabby. Yep, I'm gonna leave him right here in the middle of the road. And he's gonna go camping. Right here, look in the middle of the road. Hey, Ma, you're gonna have to take a picture of us, Ma. Look at this. <laughs> These people don't have a life. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Official start to the trail. Let's go, baby. <laughs> it's, it's so wet. It is so wet. <laughs> so you just got to get to the shelter as quick as possible right now. <laughs> to minimize the amount of wet that we experience. It's a bummer that we came out this late. This would have been much better during the day, at least. Sorry, we're making the best of all the bad situations. The rain, the dark. <laughs> Atta boy.
This one's treacherous. Here, let me, I can go ahead first to see, and then you guys can stay to see if this is actual trail. We're lost. It's hard, it's dark, and the trail isn't super clear right here, and it's super rocky in any direction you look, so it's not like there's a clear right path. All right, let me try to trek ahead to see if this is the right way. All right, so good news, we found our way back to the trail, we were definitely headed the wrong direction. <laughs> we were like, no, nah, we're good. Just keep going. It's all right. Just keep going. It's, we're good. No, we were not good. We thought, man, this trail is just tough, but we just got to tough it out. <laughs> no, we were nowhere near it. But we're on the right path now. We just hit an observation tower, which would be awesome during the day. Like you can kind of see. Can you see? No, probably not. There's like some lights on that other mountain range over there. There's some lights on another mountain range. So it would be really cool to see what you could see up here during the day. But this means we're like half a mile from camp at this point. So we're just gonna head there, set up camp, cause it's probably 9.30 or something now, and try to be in bed before 11. I wanna eat. Yeah. Okay, I think you can see my face. A lot has changed since the last check-in. I am currently in my tent. It's still raining outside. Not as hard, but still like misting-ish a little bit. What we, we all rushed to set up camp because when we got in, it was raining pretty hard. So I set up my tent fast. They set up their tents. I went over to help them set up their tents. Then we've all cooked. So what I did, you probably can't see. I have some ramen that I then put some tuna in. Simple little di dinner. Then I have some Slim Jims and bars and stuff like that. And that's going to be my dinner for tonight, but I love that everything is set up. I'm dry now. <laughs> and it was a good first day. We ended up doing 3.11 miles, so a lot longer than I initially calculated. But I think we're all feeling pretty good. Although Gabe just told me that he's, he's probably quitting tomorrow night. We'll see if tomorrow changes that, although it's going to rain all day tomorrow, so it may not change anything. <laughs> Everyone still has smiles on. Everybody's safe. We found our way to the shelter. It's 11 o'clock at night now, so I'm going to crush this ramen, crush a bar or two, and then pass out. I'll see you in the morning. But to all my patrons, thank you so much. You guys keep donating, supporting. I'm going to keep putting out content just like this and a whole lot better as we go along. To all the subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you helping grow this community and to get the word out. And last, the question is, when's the last time you did something that was really scary for you? Or when's the last time that you brought someone along to do something that was really scary for them? Let me know in the comments down below. Hasta la próxima, mi gente. Nos vemos.